What's up, fam? This your boy, Cut to the Chase TV. Be sure to hit that like and subscribe button and be sure to share this video. I got some news for you, Negroes, today. Detroit rapper Baby James suddenly died after years of surviving the harsh streets of Detroit. He been through hell and back. He been hit with the strap a few times, had shootouts at the mall, and when the ops couldn't get to him, they even targeted his mom and grandmother. Hair salons was hit up, houses was riddled, car was Swiss cheese, and he survived all that. That's his story. That's his resilience. That's his strength. So to see him survive all that, just to die a heart failure at a young age, damn. Ain't that some shit? That don't mean to say it like that, because let's be real. We all can have underlying health issues. We all can be sick. Lord knows I can. Hair thinning, weight going up and down. I got a persistent cough, so who the hell knows? But I'm just saying, to see this street legend, Baby James, go out this way, and he don't even get his flowers. I seen two videos about him on YouTube. That's it. Like when your dog died was a hundred videos. P and B Rock died was a hundred videos. Baby James passed away and he don't get his flowers. And I sat back, I got to thinking. I was like, why is nobody interested in Baby James? Why is nobody talking about Baby James? And then it dawned on me. It because he died a heart failure. He didn't die violently. See, let me let you all you street dudes know this. The only way you're going to get your flowers is if you die. But you just can't have any type of death. You got to die finally. For example, I heard Baby James passed away. I was telling everybody. I was like, Detroit rapper Baby James passed away. And everybody was like, oh, really? How did he die? I say heart failure. And they say, oh, okay. Nonchalant about it. Don't ask further questions. But if I would have said Detroit rapper Baby James died and they was like, how he died? And I would say he took six to the chest at a red light and a red Honda pulled off, then everybody would have been talking about him. So let this be clear. Street dudes, y'all want to talk about how gangster y'all are? Oh, I'm standing on business. I'm the man out here in these streets. When you pass away, it's no guarantee you're going to get your flowers. It's no guarantee we're going to talk about you. You see, Baby James is a real street legend. He been through real stuff out here in these streets. I heard he wasn't no slouch in the streets of Detroit. He passed away, and we don't even talk about him. Two videos on YouTube, and the rest is 20-second videos, 15-second videos. That's all he get. So I'm saying, street dudes, street rappers, be careful how you uh, promote yourself. Be careful in the stuff you engage in. Because just not too long ago, Baby James was in an interview talking about I'm a gangster. I stand on business. I did this. I did that. I was pressured out here in these streets just to have him go out due to heart failure. And he's a real street legend and nobody's even talking about him. We talk about Adam 22. We talk about FYB J May getting his car broken into. But I haven't seen too many people give Baby James his just due. I ain't seen too many people give J Baby James his praise. Survive the streets, stand up dude. I ain't heard nobody say that. And he been through real stuff out here in these streets. And matter of fact, I'm going to play you this clip just to show you what type of dude Baby James was. Let's go. Top of our news at 5.30, a story about gang violence seeping into unsuspecting neighborhoods and families. And when the smoke clears, two men will be convicted and their motive is downright shocking. It looks like a typical neighborhood street in Detroit. It's also a crime scene where a local grandmother's home was targeted. Now let's stop it right there. They said a grandmother home was targeted. That is baby James' grandmother. Her house was targeted. All because Baby James embarrassed his ops on camera. He caught his ops lacking at the mall. They took all running. He chased them down. He had the strap in his hand. Shots was fired. And a couple of people got beat up. And the ops couldn't handle that. So they started targeting his family, vowing to get revenge on Baby James. Now let's continue. I remember that day. I remember uh, being in the house. This neighbor, too scared to show her face. Uh, me and my son, we was home alone. And 
we just heard a loud bang. It was late 2015 when this home on Alger Street was hit. They was just emptying the clip and uh, we hit the floor because we were scared. I didn't know if they were shooting in my house. What happened here on Alger Street was just one of many criminal activities involving the Woods brothers. Antoine and Austin have just been sentenced for their crime spree. And now the defenders are learning exactly what went down. So you see that you embarrass your ops on camera. You talk about how gangster you is in these streets and you very well may be gangster. But just know if you do something to the ops and they can't get to you, they're going to target your family. They're going to shoot us out of cars, houses. They're going to do anything to get get back. So you could say you're a gangster out here in these streets. You could be doing this and that and don't think your family is safe. Because now these boys is playing by different rules. It used to be if you do something to me, I'm going to come see you and nobody else. Now it is if you do something to me, I can't get to you. I'm going to pay grandma a visit. I'm going to hit up your mama hair salon. I'm doing that type of stuff. So y'all boys better be careful, man. Don't put your family life in danger running these damn streets. Let's go. According to the sentencing memorandum, the brothers conspired to murder a rival who had embarrassed them on social media. Court records show brothers Antoine and Austin were gang members on the west side of Detroit involved in drug dealing and intimidation. They were known to post on social media to enlist others to engage in violence. The Woods brothers' reputations suffered a blow on social media after an altercation at Fairlane Town Center was caught on video with a known rival known as Baby James chasing the Woods brothers throughout the mall. That Y'all see that? They was humiliated. They was made fun of because a video was posted on social media of Baby James standing on business chasing down two brothers throughout the mall. And they couldn't handle that. They were so embarrassed. They were so hurt that they vowed to get revenge on him and his family. See, every gangster can't take a hell. It's cool to be a gangster when you winning. It's cool to be a gangster when you're on top. But the part about taking the L is overlooked. Yeah, you could be a gangster, but you know there's wins and losses in the street. I always say a street victory is short-lived. One minute you're on top, then one minute you're on the bottom. One minute you finessing somebody, and then the next minute you get finessed. I done been through it all. So that's how I know a street victory is short-lived, but apparently these brothers didn't know that. Apparently these brothers couldn't handle that the public seen them running, that he pulled their car. But let's continue. Video was posted to social media. The brothers were humiliated, and according to court documents, they wanted revenge. Prosecutors say a shootout outside of a local strip club would occur, a shooting at two homes, and then about midnight on December 20th of 2015, a drive-by shooting of baby James' grandmother's home. Random shooting, just one after another. Three people were inside, including a young child. Fortunately, no one was hit. After the smoke cleared and we got up off the floor, I came out and I, I ain't see nobody, but then later police pulled up and they was everywhere. After five weeks, a jury convicted the Woods brothers of various racketeering and firearms offenses that were connected to that conspiracy to murder charge. You shouldn't go around shooting up people houses. As for those who live on Alger Street, finally, some justice, some peace for them. Did you hear that? They shot up his shows. They shot up his mom's hair salon. They shot up his grandmother's house with a child inside. So the streets ain't for everybody. If you're not willing to go through that type of stuff, get out the streets. The image is cool. We think somebody gonna ride away in the banana boat. We think you gonna grow old, but that's not the case. So to see baby James lose his life to heart failure after surviving all that, that's irony. Cause baby James spent his later years talking about standing on business. I'm a head gangster. What about your health, my dude? Now I get it. You don't know when your time is going to go. I might go soon. You never know. But it's just an irony that you could be portraying a gangster. You the big bad wolf, but then your health takes you out and nobody shows you love. Nobody talks about you. Nobody's making videos about you. Nobody's giving you your flowers. I'm giving you your flowers. I think you was a stand-up dude. I think you held your own. If, he, if you talk about gangster, that's him. If you talk about standing on business, that's him. But unfortunately, he's not going to get his flowers, and he's going to be forgotten. It's 3 o'clock, and ain't nobody made a video about him yet. So he's going to be forgotten, man. 
But I just wanted to make this video to let all you gangsters, you street dudes know. You can run the streets. You can try to put on an image. It's no guarantee you're going to get shown love after you pass away. Especially if you die of something like heart failure, car crash. When the last time you seen somebody get a block named after them dying of natural causes? When the last time you seen somebody get a block named after them if they died in a car crash? Nope. You got to die a violent death. You got to be homicidal to get that. That's the only way we're going to show you love. That's the only way we're going to pour our liquor for your birthday. That's the only way we're going to shout you out and get that name touted. You got to go out a violent death. And unfortunately, he didn't go out that way. So unfortunately, he will be forgotten. But anyway, guys, those are my thoughts on this video. I want to know how you guys feel about it. What do you think the reason is that nobody's talking about Baby J's? Do you think he was unknown, nobody cares, or do you think it's his manner of death it's not really to be talked about. He died of heart failure. Cut to the chase. What the hell you want us to do? I feel you on that. But let me know in the comment section. Share the video. I love you guys. Peace.